एवरीवन माय सेल्फ दर्शन पंडित असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक ड्राइंग फंक्शन इन कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सो हियर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ डिफरेंट ग्राफिकल ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग सी फंक्शंस सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी how to draw polygon bar pie slice sector so here function to draw polygon so the polygon is any two dimensional shape formed with straight lines rectangle quadrilateral pentagon and hexagon are examples of polygon so here with a given set of points we need to draw the polygon so in this way we need to declare an array which includes all set of points so int x1 y1 will give you one point int x2 y2 will give you one another point int x3 y3 will give you third point and int again x1 y1 so in polygon one thing you have to remember starting point and the end point should be same so that will form a closed object so here we are using this functions draw poly which has parameter int number of points int array name so number of points is nothing but so in above array how many points we have used so we need to specify that number of points and name of array that is point okay that we have to specify here in array name so just we'll see the example so here we need to include the set of files that is graphics.h conio.h after that we need to declare uh, graphics driver and graphics mode and here we are declaring array in which we are specifying number of points that to be used to draw the polygon okay so here we are used 50 100 200 400 600 200 and again 50 100 okay so this is the so here first and last point are same so after that we are initializing the graphics driver and graphics mode and we are specifying the path of bgi so after that draw poly function in which we are specifying number of points so here number of points are 4 1 um, second third and fourth so these are the four point and name of array is point so that we have declared in draw poly function so after that get ch and close graph so this will give you output in this way hmm? so by using draw poly function the polygon will be drawn so here we are having another way to draw polygon with a given set of points so that is uh, instead of using draw poly we may use fill poly function that draws the polygon and fills the polygon okay the parameters are same we need to specify uh, point array that is array after that in array we need to declare set of points so that we have declared after that instead of using draw poly we have to use fill poly functions and parameters are same like draw poly that is int number of points and int array name so the, uh, just we'll see the example so here so here we have used fill poly instead of draw poly so this fill poly function will fill the polygon and also it will draw the polygon with a given points 320 150 440 340 230 340 and 140 150 so this is first and last point are same so here in this way you will get the polygon which is a solid filled polygon so how many points are required to draw polygon okay so you can answer so how many points we need to pass in a draw poly function or how many points required to draw a polygon 
so here n plus 1 points are required for n number of vertices of polygon so uh, the polygon should have at least three sides and angle and if polygon suppose if polygon is having three vertices then four points are required to draw a polygon as start and end points are same that is start and end point are repeated so the next function is how to draw bar so bar is used for uh, drawing bar charts okay. so here we are we need to pass x1 y1 so here bar int left int top int right and int bottom so here left is nothing but x1 top is y1 right is x2 bottom is y2 so here you can see so this is x1 y1 and here x2 y2 so let us see example so here bar so in this we have passed x1 y1 and x2 y2 that is 50 100 200 400 again second uh, bar it will be drawn using this coordinate 250 100 400 300 so third bar will be drawn using this coordinate 450 100 600 200 so in this way you will get the output so three different bars you will get based on the specified coordinates. So next function is to draw a pie slice. So this uh, will be helpful when you are drawing pie charts. So it require parameter int x, int y, int st angle that is int starting angle, int end angle, int radius. So here you are having uh, x and y that is um, from where you need to draw the pi, pi slice. So here you are having starting angle, this is the end angle and this is the radius. So when you specify this parameter, pi slice will be drawn. So let us see the example. So here we have drawn pi slice with x 200 y 200 starting angle is 90 end angle is 0 degree with the radius 100 and another pi slice with coordinate x coordinate 400 y coordinate 300 starting angle 90 end angle 360 and 100 so this will give you the output in this way. So this is 90 and this is 0 degree and here starting angle is 90 and end angle is 360. So function to draw sector. So in sector same like we need to pass int x, int y, int starting angle, int end angle and with this we need to pass int x radius, int y radius. So this will draw a sector and it will fill the sector from center. So an example, we have drawn sector with the point 300, 300 and starting angle is 180, end angle is 0, x radius is 100, y radius is 200. So this will draw a filled sector in this way. So these are the references used to prepare this PPT. Thank you.